Hi, my name is James Quote. I'm the music director of Jesus Power Assemblies of God Church. And it's, it's been so wonderful. In fact, uh, having joined this ministry uh, way back, probably if, I, if my memory could set me right, um, seven, seven years, I think so, about seven years ago, I've never regretted joining this church and this ministry. They, we have a wonderful family. Uh, those days we had people that came to join the music, the music ministry, great, great guys. We had talents. Some are still in the ministry, some left along the line. Some had to move out of states, but then I would want to appreciate all those who even started with this ministry before we, we got there. They did a very good job and we are seeing its fruits. We came to continue and we'll still continue until God takes us to another place. The music that we, 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 we selected or chose for this particular project, um, it's been something that we took our time. Um, we, we analyzed so many things. We, we took so many things into consideration before we, we came up with the choices that we, we brought to uh, or what we put on the CD. We had a lot of songs. We had English songs, a lot of English songs. We had a lot of tree songs. But then we narrowed it down to these very ones that it's on the CD right now. And it's, 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 it was a challenge because you, had, you have a lot of songs that you didn't even know what kind of song to put on the CD. Oh, this is nice. Oh, that one too is nice. So in fact, what happened was we, we, we even recorded a lot of stuff that are still in, uh, in there that they are yet to come out. But then we, we narrowed it down to those very songs and we believe that we, we did the right uh, selection. a great journey. Five years back we, we started this project. We thought we could just complete it but then the years kept on going, going. And, but this year it, it was designed and God had purpose that this very project would come to a successful end and we are glad that we, we had a very wonderful team that came together, the church supported us, the leadership of the church also supported us and it's been so wonderful. Uh, I was expecting that a whole clip uh, musical thing would take less about maybe four hours or five hours, but it took uh, it took us weeks and weeks to accomplish this purpose. Uh, me personally, my wife was pregnant when this uh, recording thing started. I had to leave her at home, you know, with my busy schedule, I work and school. I have to leave all behind and come and support this great mission and. As I said, it took us a whole lot of weeks to accomplish it. All I believe it in is that uh, God is behind all this. You know, this, the, 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 the anointing behind whatever came out. It's not us. I mean, we played and everything, but, you know, without the anointing of God, I don't see it coming this far because there are a lot of people who have commented on this project. They say good things about it. It's all positive things. And you know when we were in the studio, so many different things happened. And then I remember when we were doing the Hallelujah song, I sang this high pitch and I had no idea. Even while I was singing, I was like, wow, is, am I really singing that? That this is awesome. Because <laughs> I remember I she had to redo it and I was wondering, how is she going to redo a part <laughs> that she already did? Yeah. The main reason behind this praise and worship was anytime people come to church and we, we jam together, like most of us, Andy is not around, but then with Andy and the other guys, when we play at church service, then they're like, oh, we miss home so much. So far, the main reason for giving us this, I mean, coming out with this very album was to give the feel of Ghana, the way Ghanaians worship by far back home and also give a contemporary uh, kind of music also here. So if you look at the CD, we have like 
contemporary English gospel music, and then we have our local songs in our local di local dialect. And I believe strongly that it's going to go a long way to help others. Uh, let me even just chip this in. I was driving one day, and uh, I was just right by the side of a car, and I heard this lady playing the music. And it was she was playing our song actually, and she was so excited. And you know, I had to stop by her side and hang her and say, "Hey, I play that song." So it's, and she was she was just blessed. Sometimes we minister in church and people come back to us and they said, hey, from your ministration today, I'm blessed. And this is what God has done for me. And it's, it has always helped my faith. Like if people can testify, what about me singing? Um, I also believe that this is just the beginning of what the Lord is going to do with this ministry because we have come a long way with this project. And when this project comes out, we have had a lot of testimonies. And I believe this is just the beginning. We are about to explode because there are a lot of things that God is going to use this ministry to do. The yeah. Bible says that to some he called to be ministers. And in the fivefold ministry, he has given some to the apostles, some to be pastors, teachers, and all that. And he has also called some to deliver and help people solve their problems through some ministration. And I believe in my whole heart that POP is, is on this earth to do exactly what the Bible says. One thing I thank God about POP and one thing always I pray about is we see ourselves always we growing and growing and there's a wisdom behind us. We have so many different people with different talents. But then one thing I understand that every leader must revert to his innate style and lead. One thing I think is part of our vision as POP members is that we're not just here to sing. We're not a singing band. We're not a singing group, but we're ministers. We're ministers of the gospel of Christ. And so we are training ourselves up to be ministers in deliverance, ministers in healing. We have prophets in our midst, and that's like the ultimate aim, to be used ultimately and totally by God. So the singing is just the tip of the iceberg. When you talk about language, most of the songs that we had on the CD are Akan or Tree, if I put it, our Ghanaian language. But it wasn't a barrier to, to, to any of our members, especially in the choir. You have people from Nigeria that could just sing the song so easily. They took their time to learn it. And the main reason, the main idea behind this particular project is that we have people, we have about different culture, people from different ethnic background in our church. And so we want to meet everybody's need. It's good to worship and it's good to praise. But praising the Lord really breaks yokes and even, I mean, turns things around in your life. Somebody help me sing. Our main aim is to establish ourselves in the church that is Jesus' power assemblies of God. And um, over the years we've been saying that we don't want to limit ourselves to, to the four walls of Jesus' power assemblies of God, which of course we've not been doing that because we get opportunity to go here and there to minister to people and it's been awesome. But then we still want to climb higher. We know there's more room for improvement. We want to reach out to everywhere. We don't want to limit ourselves to only Ghanaians. You understand me? We want to get to a point that we will, we will minister to different people, different people from all. I remember some time ago, we, we went somewhere and ministered, and then one person came and said, Lord, man, I can't wait to see you guys coming on BET to perform over there. And we, we are expecting that day to come. And that is our main aim, that God, wherever you want to take us, we are available to take for you to take us there. Now, you are an awesome guy. There is none like you, Lord. Oh, Lord. We'll let you. We'll